Here's a segment from the latest edition of St. Charles Parish Today, a monthly local talk show. Our parish has seen many changes throughout the years in how we meet the recycling needs for our residents. Tell us a little bit about the changes coming and why we are implementing them. Okay, so as everybody knows, we have been having, we have 21 sites throughout the parish mm -hmm. that have recycle bins, and it's a drop site program. So people can go and they can drop off their recycling materials, but it's become more of a process where people are dumping mm -hmm. instead of recycling. So we have a new campaign where we're going to recycle right. We're going to educate the public. We're going to change our dumpster program completely. We're going to go from eight yard dumpsters throughout the parish to two main sites at your East Bank and your West Bank mm -hmm. sites. And those are going to be 25 yard roll off containers. Mm -hmm. I know you mentioned dumping was an issue and almost acted as it's a catalyst for change. How will the new bins prevent unwarranted dumping? Okay, so the new bins, the current bins that we have, they're a front to back load, so the bins open up and over. The new bins are going to slide left to right, mm -hmm. so, and it's a smaller opening. So mm -hmm. the residents will be able to slide the container open and put the proper recyclable items into that container. Mm -hmm. It's a smaller hole, they can't fit larger items, they cannot Put no deers in it? They can't put deers in it. We have had, we've had deer carcasses, we've had furniture, we've had mattresses, furniture such as sofas, mattresses, um, freezers. Someone actually put a dead cat in the bins before. So we have several different issues that mm -hmm. need to be addressed when it comes to dumping. And not only is it an issue to where the vendor is having to deal with this, but the parish itself is having to deal with this. Well, it costs the parish more money, too, because it becomes hazardous material Absolutely. and things like You're that. Absolutely. You're paying your employees now right. to go out from recreation. Mr. Foray, the recre mm -hmm. uh, recreation director, he's having to reassign his parish employees to go and clean this mess up before, like usually we come, we go to, we go home on a Friday, we mm -hmm. come back on a Monday and the bins are surrounded, completely surrounded by debris, by bulk that does not belong there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't belong there. So on Monday mornings, he's having to reassign his employees right. who should be doing another job to go out and clean up these bins and clean up these sites and make it right so that the recycle truck can come and dump these, which they're front load, mm -hmm. they go up and over. The new bins, they're going to be side, side slide, smaller openings. They sh the residents should only be able to put in their, their plastic bottles, their tin cans, their newspapers, their, their all the samples that I have that I'm going to show you guys in mm -hmm. a little while. Um, they won't be able to put all the other stuff that's illegal dumping, which as a matter of fact, you were out with your staff last week going yes. over some drainage issues and other issues or just mm -hmm. concerns, not even issues, but concerns. Right. And you guys were in deep conversation in one of our prime locations, which has four bins in Destrahan, and I'm, in, I'm, doing, I'm processing paperwork, and I glance up, and there's a gentleman with a truck load. The entire back end of his vehicle is filled. So I glance up, and I look, and I'm like, what is this man doing? So I proceed to move over to that location, which is across the street, mm -hmm. And I'm like, sir, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm, I'm getting rid of my, re my plastics. I'm like, no, you're dumping. He's like, no, I'm not. It's, re it's, it's plastic. I'm recycling. So he proceeded. He had already placed five large wheelbarrow containers, the base, without the wheels. He had taken the wheels and the base off. And he had placed five wheelbarrows, several huge plastic, like, you know, stack and put together for your shelving in your garage, several of those types of plastics. And he, his entire bed of his truck was full of plastics. And he, honest to God, thought that he was recycling. Wow. He was sincere. Mm -hmm. He was very sincere. And he's like, no, I can put this. It's, it's plastic. This is plastic. This is what we recycle. And I said, 
Sir, I said, thank you so much for participating in our program. I said, but what I'm going to ask you to do is you, if you can help me remove the items from the bin. I said, because when the recycle truck comes now, they cannot service this bin. And then the parish has to pay an offset cost, right. which adds up and it gets costly. And we're paying to recycle. And the people that are doing good, they want to do good. But the people that don't know, it's not that they're, they're doing there's people that know and there's people that don't know. Mm -hmm. So the people that don't know, they just don't know. This man was being honest and sincere and he just wanted to recycle, but he had a truck bed full of non-recyclable items. Wow, wow. I understand you're working with the Public Information's Office to bring awareness about recycling right in the parish. Can you tell me a little bit about that? That's the story that I was just referring mm -hmm. to. I probably spoke a little bit too soon, but that's a prime example. This man wanted to recycle. He thought he was recycling properly, properly, but he was not. He was not recycling right. And where we were at, we did see a, a number of residents coming in doing the right thing. With yes, we did. Bin. yes, we did. Yes, we did. We, we absolutely that. did. So you definitely have your percentage mm -hmm. out there. They want to recycle right. and they're doing it right. But you also have your percentage that just they're not aware. Right. And it's, it goes back with other education and public information, if y'all get that out, I think it'll get a lot better. Definitely. We plan to advertise, 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 and we plan to get back into the school systems mm -hmm. where years ago when you had curbside recycling before Hurricane Katrina right. knocked out the main facilities, we used to go around to the elementary and middle schools and we would present to them, this is how you do it, this is how you don't do it. and. Your children is where the education is at. Exactly. You have to educate your children, and we plan on doing that 100% hardcore. So we're also going to be putting a, um, a survey out to the residents of the parish this coming April right. yeah. to try to bring back curbside recycling because I firmly believe that we can get it back in the price range. Years ago after Katrina, we had to go all the way to either Baton Rouge or Biloxi mm -hmm. to recycle, and it just was not feasible for the, for the residents. Well, recycling's different now with the type of technology they have too, right? It, well, it's the, no, it's not even the technology, it's the type of materials that they are accepting. Mm -hmm. You know, years ago we accepted glass and all of those items, which brings us back to the education. We have to educate them on what we can bring. Okay. Brings me to my next question. I know a big hurdle for some residents is not knowing what can or cannot be recycled. Can you give us some examples? Absolutely. I brought several examples to show you guys. Okay. All right. You recycle, right? Recycling doesn't have to be difficult as long as you know what can and cannot be recycled. St. Charles Parish made it easier for you to recycle the right way. Recycling only works when the items collected are reusable. Trash in the recycling is considered contamination, which makes material dirty and processing costly. As part of the recycling community, it is important that we keep recyclables clean and avoid dumping materials that cannot be recycled. For more information on the recycling changes coming to St. Charles Parish, visit www.stcharlesparish-la.gov services and click on the Residential Garbage Collection tab. Welcome back. I see you brought a few items. I did. So the items that are placed out in, on, in front of me are the proper items that you can recycle. You can recycle your plastics ones, two, and threes. You can recycle your cardboard boxes. Mm -hmm. You can recycle your thin cardboard boxes, which are like cereal boxes. You can recycle your newspapers, your tin cans. Um, actually, I mean, your soda cans and also your tin cans such as peas, tuna fish, whatever it is. Um, these type of plastics, always the residents can always look on the bottom. They have a one, a two, or a three. And we do one, two, and three. We do one, two, and threes. Right. You can recycle for sure your, your water bottles. Those are always number one, right? Because everyone has to have a water bottle in their hand at all times. You can recycle your tubs of butter, but not the lid. The lids are not recyclable, they're made from a different product and they cannot recycle. So you can do this, but you cannot do this. Same thing with glass jars. You cannot recycle your glass jars or the lids in any way. Um, your wrapping paper, no wrapping paper. People think all paper is recyclable, but it's just not. Like you cannot recycle your, your, your wrapping papers, your bows, or any packaging 
that goes with any of those products. So I'm looking at the red Solo cup. It the says red. recycle on it. It number does. Five. It says recycle number five. We recycles one, twos, Two, three. and threes. Mm -hmm. So your red Solo cup cannot recycle, but this is a number one and you can recycle. Different materials. Different materials. Okay. Different materials. People say paper. No food soiled papers, no McDonald's, no Popeyes, no Subway, no nothing will cycle. So the oil's goes. in the paper contaminant. Right. Nor can you do the boxes. Any of these type of boxes, you cannot do them. That's the same thing for your McDonald's French fries. So the pizza boxes, no. Pizza boxes, no. They are considered food soiled. You can't do it. This box can be recycled. What's in the box cannot be recycled. No papers, no paper towels, no paper products of this manner whatsoever. Hmm. You can do office paper. This can be recycled. This is recyclable. But this is not. You cannot recycle your toilet papers or your paper towels, but you can recycle the cardboard centerpieces. Hangers, not recyclable. Plastic utensils are not recyclable. You cannot recycle those. These are all things that people think they can. You also cannot do styrofoam and paper plates and bowls and anything of that nature you cannot recycle. What happens if that people deposit that into our recycling bins? If they deposit that type of material, mm -hmm. that's up to the recycling facility. They're going to separate those items and they'll do it. But when you're dumping all the other items that I addressed earlier, right then the parish has to pay a dumping facility charge. And this also brings me back to, when we're back to dumping, what, which I left out earlier. All of these items are recyclable for the residents of St. Charles Parish. We are trying to offer a recycling option for your residents of St. Charles Parish. Right. This is not an outlet for your commercial business. Mm -hmm. Hate to put it out there, guys, but Commercial business, this is not for you. This is not your outlet. This is an outlet for the residents of St. Charles Parish only. And a lot of the times we experience commercial businesses, they are receiving their daily shipment of their product and their merchandise, and they are bringing hundreds of cardboard boxes. And they, they may think they're doing right, but what they're doing is using us, the parish, mm -hmm. as an outlet for their garbage disposal or however you want to put it on their end. They need to go to New Orleans Recycle Facility, get your own contract. New Orleans Recycle Center will service you. The commercial people need to reach out to another outlet. We are trying to offer the residents of St. Charles Parish a recycling program that they can use mm -hmm. until curbside recycling may come back. Mm -hmm. That's what we're trying to do. We are not here for the businesses and commercial people of the parish or the non-parish because we've received stuff from Kenner. Several boxes has Kenner addresses and it's a commercial business. Mm -hmm. We're not their outlet and we should not be their outlet. We are here for the residents to do better for the residents and let the residents have their opportunity to recycle and to recycle right, to recycle right. Re recycle responsibly and right. you know, take care of the environment. 100%. That's the message we want to get across. That's the message we want to get across. Okay. Thank you for coming on the show today. I've learned a lot. I hope the residents have learned a lot. Your department does a great job. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. And we will be educating, educating, educating. I look forward That's to that. That's our goal. So thank you very much. Thank you. Look for the entire episode at www.scptoday.com or on SCP-TV.